What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon video. Um, Unified Minds comes out in a couple of days, and like this is the worst part. Uh, right before release sets, like, oh man, you know, I'm so excited, uh, but I don't have any product to open. But uh, we're gonna look a little further in the future for Hidden Fates, which I am so excited about. That like Unified Minds is like. Yep, and then Hidden Fates, you know, all the way much higher as far as my excitement level. Uh, so we're going to be opening up some more Ultra Shiny packs. So I have two more boxes that I'll be able to open on camera. One Japanese, one Korean. So we're going with the Korean one today. And as we get closer to the Unified Fate, or see, Hidden Fates release, we'll go into the Japanese set as well. So... Unified Minds later this week, but the real prize is towards the end of the month, August 23rd. Hidden Fates Pin Collections, which, I mean, we I'm going to have some just because that's the only way to get it, but the real prizes are later on. You got the tins, which is my opinion are better, and then the ETB the Elite Trader Boxes, which that is the one to get. Um, you know, if you're going to get some, definitely make sure you get at least one ETB. That is where you get that stained glass promo. Pretty insane that that, uh, that card is just a promo that you can get from the Elite Trainer Box. Alright, so let's get into this. These are so warped, I can feel it in the pack. Can you... Uh, you can kind of see how, how warped these cards are. Alright, so... Um, these boxes, I think, still are. You can get them off eBay for, like, inside $30. So, at this point, you know, I definitely recommend waiting. But if you do have to get something, uh, these are pretty cheap. They warp like crazy. Oh, my gosh, look at that. So warped. But the they have, basically, each card is like a reverse. So, this ultra shiny. So, the cards are super shiny. And I do think that the energies look amazing. So, let's get into our first pack. We got some kind of unit energy. Ah, look at that. Look at that. You can see me in the reflection. It is so shiny. And yeah, these energies look amazing. We got a Ralts. Ooh, Ralts Community Day coming up. I missed the last one, but I'm definitely going to look for some Ralts. Gardevoir, one of my favorite Pokemon. We got Lola Marowak, a Beast Ring, a Garchomp for our Hollow. And for the Korean packs, you do get two Hollows. And oh my gosh, a shiny right off the bat. We got a shiny Wooper. Even the shinies, they're like textured. I love that. And uh, I really hope the they don't skimp out on the texturizing, especially of the shinies, where I feel like very few non-GX cards, I'm not sure if any have like any texture, but hope they keep that for the hidden fates. Uh, I actually am a fan of Wooper. He always looks so happy. The Pokemon Go Wooper, I love his, you know, his, uh, his sprite. He's just kind of like bopping up and down. I... Whenever I see it, I think like, imagine if he has a big uh, thing of headphones, like big cans, and he's just kind of like bopping the music. That's always what I think about. All right, on to our next pack. We have a Torchic. Very cute. Bulbasaur. Inke. Ooh, lightning energy. Very nice. A Lowland Diglett. A skateboard. Very good card to go with the Jirachi. Stellar Wish Jirachi. Frost Rotom. Hey, Cirola, Lucario, Lucario, and the Pokemon Masters, uh, super useful for farming that Brock guy. Uh, and then a, why am I, Electrovire, <laughs> nope, that's not Electrovire, Zergatry, oh my. When when you don't have the English names, you know, it, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm disappointed in myself with uh, how I can't remember. But yeah, Pokemon Masters. I've uh, been releasing a bunch of videos. If you haven't, uh, don't know anything about that game, definitely go check out those videos. Essentially, that is a new mobile game. It's going to be a gacha game coming to the US region later in August. But if you do want to get a sneak peek at some of that stuff, I've uploaded a bunch of content and really enjoying that game. It's tons of fun. If you do want to play it, you just need a VPN for your mobile device. Mimikyu. Rotom, a Celesteela for the pulling a lot of Ultra Beasts, and then, ooh, that is a good shine. I am liking our shiny pulls right now. Wooper, uh, I feel like he's underrated and I like him. And then Eevee, man, who, although I'm not crazy about the shiny Eevee, it's just like a pale Eevee. <laughs> Doesn't do much for me. The evolutions, I think, are pretty cool. Some of them are. 
But uh, all right. But actually, that's a that's a good hit. Anytime you get any kind of special EV, that's a good pull. If you do open these packs, do use scissors. They are a surprisingly difficult to open without them. We got a Wimpod, a Ralts, Fire Energy. So for the Korean set, you usually get two, more often than not, I find that you get three SRs and then one SSR, which will be the Shiny GX. So we have a Hoopa and then a Alolan Ninetales. Oh, quick uh, random thing, like uh, Michael and picked me up these little Pez dispensers, like a blast from the past for me. I remember these things growing up and uh, yeah, kind of fun. Figured to just show these off in these videos. I'm not sure, is Pez still a thing for kids these days? I feel like I rarely see them. Almost to a point where I feel like when you do see them, I almost wonder if they're catering towards, uh, you know, a previous generation. <laughs> Alright, let's see, we got a Froakie. Magnemite, he always looks so happy. Despite having no face and one eye. Thief Energy. Uh, Cosmome. C uh, Counter Energy, maybe? Sudaudo. Rotom. Oranguru with Instruct. And then a Dawn Wings Necrozma. I feel like uh, we got a bunch of the shinies pretty early. So it's possible things are going to slow down for a little bit. And I did not cut that one low enough. So as always guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not a sub already, hit that sub button as well. Let's see, we got Darkness Energy. Alolan Doug Trio. Uh, Gladian? Gladian? Turtonator, Ultra Space, Hydragon, and oh, that's the rare, and then, oh my, Blaze again. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking Typhlosion in my head, like, that doesn't sound right. So if you ever never, ah, if you have never opened up foreign product, uh, I kind of encourage you to do it at least once. The At this point with uh, Hidden Fates around the corner, I don't recommend the Korean set, but you know if there's an upcoming Japanese set that you're really excited about, I kind of encourage you to pick up uh, a Japanese box just to get that experience of open foreign cards. It's kind of like a pop quiz for yourself. And then we have a Altaria. This is the one that powers up dragon attacks. And then Guzzlord. So while I am excited for Hidden Fates, just because it'll be new, definitely the one I am more looking forward to is Hidden Fates. Oh, did I say that wrong? Unified Minds is coming. Yeah, but Hidden Fates I am much more psyched about. Uh, I'll probably do some more content for some of the cards you can look forward to. Essentially these cards, but all the SRs and SSRs. We'll do a walkthrough of my collection, the Japanese set. And, ooh, okay, so we did get three SRs. Every, anytime you get three SRs, that is a victory for, doesn't matter if it's Japanese, if it's Korean. Three SRs and that's a win. And actually this one's pretty cool. I don't remember Celesteela. And while it's not that different, I think we, we have a Celesteela somewhere. Well, the art, the coloring is not that different. It's just kind of like more a lot of white and then green. Um, but I do like that art. It has a cell, makes Celestia look surprisingly graceful. Where I feel like normally, I'm assuming I'm referring to her as a she, um, but normally it just feels like this big armored Pokemon. <laughs> so very nice pull right there, Celestia. Our third SR, ooh, this is a good way to do it, uh, Fennekin, uh, where we have three SRs and then saving the big hit, the SSR for the end. Let's build up a little suspense. What are we going to pull? One we want the most is the big boy shiny Charizard, of course. Another Zergatry and then a Prism Star, Sogaleo. One thing I have not heard much speculation about is how they're going to do the Hidden Fates ratio for the Elite Trainer Box. So you get 10 packs per box. Um, one thing that I see as being a possibility, but I kind of hope they don't, is instead of like the reverse, you get a shiny. Because there are a lot of, or there's the SSRs which are the GX, and then a bunch of other stuff. Like, oh, like those three that we just pulled. And I'm really hoping that that's not how they um, do the SRs. I've, while I feel like it would be awesome that people will get them, like, I almost feel like that's 
it'll be a little too diluted as far as that rarity but then so assuming that they don't do that for a 10 pack etb i wonder what kind of pull ratios you can expect um maybe they're going to be very consistent like the japanese and korean set uh, or maybe they'll go a completely different routes and you average one sr ssr per oh guz ah, i do like guzzlord that is a very cool ssr two pull and i talk about this all the time but i really like this card i tried in ptcgo just throwing a bunch of these guys i think at the time i only had like one or two so I would mulligan like super hard, uh, but then all you just have is a bunch of darkness energy. Use eat sloppily, slap on. Then at that point you can use this. I don't remember what the attack is called, but so you're cracking for 180 on your turn two. And given that the my opponent got to draw an extra like 10 cards, <laughs> like I didn't win all that very much, but uh, it was fun to play. So oh, I am really happy with that pull. Very good shinies this in this opening. And we still got four packs left. Never heard of a 4SR box, but hey, it's the first time for everything. Let's see, we got a Wimpod. And, uh, but yeah, let me know in a comment down below. What are your thoughts about Hidden Fates and what the shiny ratio is going to be? Is it going to be kind of a consistent thing or will it be, you know, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I'm honestly not sure where I stand on it. Because there's only 10 packs, so... The... To have, you know, just one of any kind of shiny would be like, oh my gosh, this is painful. You know, I want those SSRs or the GX ones. But if they were to do one SR, one SSR, one... One regular shiny, one GX shiny, like, then they can't have, in my opinion, like the same kind of rarity, you know? And, well, while it would be insane if they did two per, per ETB, like, I almost feel like that's potentially diluting it too much e anyway, but I think that would be like the best or the e best thing for all the collectors, but I kind of doubt that that's what they'll do. All right, let's see. Let's focus on these last couple packs. We got a Zekrom. Oh, so many cool Zekrom cards coming out. Ooh, oh, we forgot about our regular GX. This is our first one. Interesting box. Reshi oh, actually, that was a cool pack. Zekrom and then Reshiram. That is like, it's like foreshadowing the Dream League set coming up. That's the next Japanese set to drop, and that features both of those guys in a tag team. And it sounds absolutely insane. If you haven't seen our video about that card, uh, definitely go check it out. That thing is going to be so strong. I feel like that's going to be potentially the tag team to rule them all. And then we got Manaphy for our last pack, and for our last one, a Dusk Main Necrozma. So very good pack it's very interesting we only got one gx but that's okay i feel like you know because these boxes they're not about the gx's anymore they are all about the shinies and we got some really good ones let's go over it let's see let's go in this order we have celesteela which i didn't remember what she referring to as her she looked like but uh, i do really like that art and then we have whooper the you know just the he's just loving life so happy what is he? Like a tadpole kind of thing? I don't, I'm not sure. And then Eevee. You gotta love Eevee. Even though I'm not crazy about the shiny, always happy to pull it. And then Guzzlord SSR. Such a cool card. So that's it for this opening. Ah, we're having trouble being patient, waiting for our unified mind boxes, but uh, stay tuned for that. And. Uh, Hidden Fates, when it's coming, we're going hard, guys. We're going to do tons of openings, and uh, so look forward to that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.